quarterfinals. Yes, quarterfinals. It's a great time for Canadian soccer, and I couldn't be more proud. We did what we needed to do. That's what tournament football is all about. Can't complain. Crepo makes me so stiff. I can't even yes, fucking. We are like, right there. Let's go. This is Fan First Network. What a result. I mean, result. would have hoped for a little bit more being up a man for 70 minutes, but we did what we needed to do. Got the result. You know, we'll wait to see what happens tomorrow, see who we're playing in the quarterfinals, but incredible day for Canadian soccer to be in the quarters of the Copa America. Yes, it, well, it as, as far as the result goes, can't be better. The performance definitely leaves a little bit to be desired. Yeah, absolutely. We would have hoped they could have scored, had a few good chances. You know, Chile had everyone forward. We did what we needed to do. That's what tournament football is all about. It Can't is. complain. It is, and now we got a chance. Three wins, and we could win this tournament. Three wins, you could win the tournament, right? <laughs> Score a goal here, a goal there. Next thing you know, we're in the semifinals. Yeah. That's all it takes. It really is. Okay, so of the group stages, who was your standout performer from this entire Canadian side? I thought Schaffelberg was fantastic. He got subbed off tonight early, but you know he came in halfway through the game, uh, halftime against at Peru. Came was amazing. He's the maritime Messi. He he, he he he's the difference maker. I'd like to see a little bit more from David. He needs a little bit better service. Yeah. But for me, it was Schaffelberg was the highlight of the group stage. Yeah, I absolutely agree. Do you think Schaffelberg should continue to start, or do you think he's better as a super sub? I think he's better as a super sub. Bring him in at halftime. Incredible speed up yeah. the wing. Bring him in. It's hot out there. Guys are a little bit tired. Bring him in in a nil-nil game at halftime. He's the difference maker. Where does this end for us? Can we? Do you think we have a chance at actually winning this tournament? I think it depends on what happens tomorrow. Yeah. We could we could play any of the four teams in Group B, yes. as far as I know. Yes. If we play Venezuela in a quarterfinal, it's everything to play for. Absolutely. If we play Mexico in a quarterfinal, it's still everything to play for. We beat Depend them before. We beat them before in negative temperatures in Edmonton. Uh, I don't know if it would be the same in, uh, you know, in blazing hot you know, somewhere in the States. <laughs> but in any case, we're top eight in the Americas right now, and we have every chance of going top four. I think top four is the ceiling for us if we get through the quarterfinals. Big success. We dreamed of days like this, though, right? Exactly. You watch all these highlights of games in the past, a thousand people, games at, uh, you know, at BMO Field, watching brutal, arduous qualifiers against Honduras, losing 8-0. You know, to be where we are today, is incredible and we just have to be appreciative of that it really is man thank you thank you for Look, all right johnny so we're fucking going through we let's are go, let's, go! let's go let's fucking go we're going to the quarterfinals canada soccer is fucking here to stay tell me how you're feeling elated uh i don't even really know what to say as far as how i feel i'm uh, my heart was going crazy like yeah. i feel like i had red bull in my veins yes. uh <laughs> Yeah, I'm just so fucking stoked, dude. Man, this is we, as soccer fans growing up in this country, these are the days we, like, literally dreamed about. Literally dreamed about, and I'm so looking forward to what's coming next. Like, the World Cup coming here in two years. The way we're going, like, at the rate we're building and the rate that our guys are getting into European leagues, we're going to have, like, eight to ten guys in, in Europe. Yes, we are. It's going to be sick. Who's your player of the group stage so far for Canada? It might not be totally based on talent, but like Schaffelberg, like yeah. the vibes, the way he comes on and just like runs at them and drags them all over the place. I, he's just sick, dude. I fucking love him. Canadian fact, fans love him. Dude, the fact that TFC gave him up, I'm like... Outrageous. We can't talk about that. We can't talk about it. TFC should never have given up, but I will say every single person I've asked today pretty much has said Schaffelberg. Okay, sick, yeah. Uh, I shocked that it wasn't Davies. I think we were talking about before, like he was paying at like 65% of where he could be. And personally, I'm giving it to Maxime Cropo. I don't think we win oh, any. Yeah, fuck. Uh, I, look, Dude. Schaffelberg is my, is, would be my outfield player, but I don't think we get here without Maxime Cropo under any circumstances. Cropo makes me so stiff. I can't even yeah. fucking, like, he's a fucking beauty, dude. He's incredible. Right. Yeah. Great stuff. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're going. We're going. Canada are in to the fucking Copa America. No! Let's fucking Let's go. go! Let's go! Bro, tell me what you saw from Canada today. I saw a team with heart and pride and just willing to dig in deep when they need to. And I couldn't be more proud to be Canadian than watching that performance today. You know, they just, they, we've shown them over this conversation we can hold our own against the best of the South American continent. Which, you know, over the course of, you know, however long um, Combo has been around, show that they're, they're a force record on the world stage and we've held their own against three amazing teams. So who's been the standout player from this Canadian side so far, the whole, like, group stages? Schaffelberg. Yes. yes. I think that's a no-brainer. Yep. I think um, Crepo, 
as the goalkeeper. I he's think my guy. He's been the best player for me. He's he saved us today. Again. He saved us. There was a couple every, times every single game. There was a couple times today where we just switched off defensively and he saved everybody like the last what 90 second minute 93 minute where we kind of just switched off for no reason and he saved our butts so we, we wouldn't be where we are without him no we wouldn't uh any last thoughts anything else you let's just we have nothing to lose at this point no nope. we have nothing to lose we've shown the world let's we go. Oh, let's go canada let's fucking go well, we've shown the world we belong where we are in the world and there's it's a great time for Canadian soccer, and I couldn't be more proud, and I can't wait for the next game, whatever that may be. Friday. Friday. We'll fucking see you there. Friday? Yeah. Friday it is. Tell me how you're feeling. Um, I'm feeling fucking ecstatic, man. I don't know what to say, bro. Uh, like, it, it's fucking absurd, man. I never I thought in my fucking life it would be like this, bro. Top eight teams in the whole fucking Western Hemisphere, man. Apart from, I don't know, maybe Europe, some of that. Top eight teams in the Americas. That's yeah. fucking impressive. And we can go further than that, bro. We, we can. can. Bro, we Venezuela, can. these guys scammed two wins, bro. They're ass. They're shit. But you know what? I want to say something, man, yeah. about Schaffelberg. Yeah. Great fucking player, but he has to come off the bench. I'm sorry. Like, yeah, in the future he can start. But right now, bro, he's most useful off the bench. It, this, like... Bring him off the bench is some genius shit, although it's kind of obvious at the same time. Using your best player against tired legs will, like, he'll provide more in those 30 minutes than he does in 60. Yeah. He was fucking, he was still good today, but he can do fucking better. I know that. And he'll do it against tired legs. So I don't think he should start. Buchanan, fucking amazing. Yeah. I loved it. Clap Tani, Tani, if he wasn't a fucking inch offside, would have had his goal. Oh, yeah. Six points, but... What? Fuck it, man. Who gives a shit? Four points second in the group going through, bro. I would have bit your hand off from that at the beginning of the tournament. Today, Canada man of the match, Lotaro Martinez. Yeah! The fucking baller scored yeah. a brace for Argentina, which probably helped us get through, although I don't think Peru would have scored anyways. But no, nah, in seriousness, probably just Cripo. I mean, no outfield player was outstanding. I don't give a fuck. No. Whole group stage, probably also Cripo. I mean... Fucking prime Neuer looking ass. Literally. He's going to Europe, man. There's no way he fucking stays in MLS, bro. Yeah. Today, I actually think we were kind of ass considering who we were playing. We still, we were better. Like, the stats say we were better. Yeah. We had more XG. We had better chances. Tani's movement is fucking absurd. I, I think Miller just can't, like, I don't think he, he's not, he's not at that level to fucking, yeah. you know, make those passes, but I don't give a fuck. He, he can, he's good defensively. That's what matters. He brings yeah. defensive solidity to the, um, to the left wing. But listen, man. If this is ass for us, and we're, they, these guys, I mean, yeah, they're washed, but they won it back to back fucking nine years ago, eight years ago. Yep. And we're fucking playing better than them when we're ass. Yep. This isn't even our best fucking game. Our best game was second half Peru. Yep. First half Peru was shit. I don't want to talk about it. But man, listen, Venezuela scammed two wins. We can beat them, bro. We can beat them. We can beat them. These guys are ass. I'm telling you, they're the biggest scam. Santi Heeman has gifted them a fucking knockout place, yes. man. So I don't give a shit. Jonathan David clears that bump, and we're and he's going to be scoring two on them. He's going to be a dunking a fucking brace. Fonzi, two assists. Let's fucking go. Vamos, man. Ale le rouge. I don't got nothing else to say. I mean... Nah, bro. That's it. That's, That's it. it. That's man. basically everything. That's some... Finals. Yes! Finals. Canada, Kobe. baby! I saw a performance that was okay. Yes, that's right. But that's it. <laughs> that's yeah. right. There's not too much to be excited about the performance. Tell me how you're feeling about Canada moving forward and Canada in the group stages. Um, it's okay, but I don't have confidence with the way that we played that's today. Fair. Um, fair. That uh, we will advance more than what we have already advanced. Listen, they've struggled so far, and they've had ten men for like quite a decent amount of time here. Yeah, exactly. Like, how can you? Like, how can you think it's an achievement if you guys have an advantage, we one did. man extra, but not be able to score Which we and take advantage know. of that? That's fair. That's fair. So what do you think needs to happen? We have probably Venezuela, it looks like, in the knockouts. What do you think needs to happen if we are going to beat them? Uh, we need to score and make the most out of our chances yes. uh, because you know that the top quality teams will always like make use of every single chance that they have. This is Fan First Network. Fan First Network, follow, like, subscribe, share.